getting ready for a trip I like to take some time before things start to get too stressful to sit down with something to drink and get everything written down this includes any last-minute packing things to prep at the house before we leave and plan our agenda for the day that we'll be heading out once I have this done I feel like I can breathe a little easier all I have to do is follow my lists getting ready to leave for a trip is still somewhat daunting but with my lists I have a roadmap I also try to get my own project bag packed sooner rather than later so I don't forget anything. I really like vacations where we're going on a road trip because then I'm less limited about what I can bring along. Here's some of what I brought on our last trip up to the mountains. This is a watercolor journal that I'm challenging myself to fill this summer. Only two paintings so far, so I still have some work to do. My daily planner, my journal, and this is a relatively new sketchbook. I'm trying to get in the habit of writing or sketching any ideas I have down before I lose them, so this is definitely coming. Pouch filled with all the loose ends, and I really want to paint on this trip, so all the painting supplies are coming along. Years ago I bought this cross stitch kit at the Frank Lloyd Wright Home and Studio in Oak Park and I work on it so infrequently it'll be amazing when I'm finally finished. I keep it in my bag for travel. It's the perfect thing to do on a plane or in a car. A couple years ago I finally had to organize all the embroidery floss in individual little bags because it was becoming such a big tangled mess. I think I'll have to laminate the instructions soon because they're becoming quite creased. I hate it when I'm away from home and wishing I had a specific marker or pen. I'm sure I won't use half of what I bring, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. I love these roll-up pen and pencil organizers. I keep one for drawing pens and markers and another for my Prismacolors. You see 